So, Shinobis, welcome back to La Novela. A lot of shit went down last time, man. And thankfully, oh, there's like a dinosaur in the water. Thankfully, we're away from the city. We could just collect our thoughts, fully process what's going on. Because I I still think it's a little, uh, little weird that Tongue is having a baby. So, what's it called? I don't know. It's just a tiny island. No, I mean the boat. Oh, don't know. Still working on it. Bodie McBotarina. I don't like that. Sea Dragon. That's a good one. Bayadonna. I like that one too. If you're going Italian, how about your favorite soap crush? Katarina. Oh, that's a good one too. The Blackjack. Big Easy. <laughs> I like Big Easy. Er Irma? What a shit-ass name. No. Big Easy. Hey, if Spike and Claire work it out, you two could be brother and sister. Oh, God. <gasps> Just what I need. A kid brother. <gasps> a family band. You're right. You can all dress in matching outfits. I can see it now. You have to make me a custom fursuit. Oh, uh, okay. I, I thought Mans was a furry, but it makes sense because she's like a cat thing. I mean, there's nothing else we could do here. Right? Yeah, I can't walk off nowhere. I can't go on the other side. Um, I think we just end the day. This is a very nice spot to just come out and escape from. Especially if it's not too much of a, a boat ride. I'm supposed to have lunch with Spike. That's going to be fun. We can go the short way home. Good luck at lunch, baby. We'll hear how it goes from Mori. Come find me in the yard later, Kai. Sure thing. I'm gonna go plant a garden. All right. I think that should be everything. Uh, let's get them growing. This thing looks like a mess, but it's all we got. All right. I've, I've, I think. Wait, it needs more space to grow. That's bullshit. And let me grow all oh, way. Is it because of this? I think so. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Start growing. That might be full size. No, that's full size. Perfect. I think we should spy on their lunch. Can you pass the salt? Here you go, dear. Thanks, Maury. Lovely wax wing curry today. Yeah, that was an awkward lunch. <gasps> the boys are out. What y'all scheming up to now, huh? Okay, yesterday we suffered a setback. Maybe we should take a day off, you know, recover. So now is the time to leap into action. I'm not very good at jumping. Me neither, Salchicha. Fine. What market in our non-monetary economy are we cornering today? My legs are a little too. <laughs> so are mine, man. Sn Snickerbacks? The little bugs that skate across water? Oh. What are you going to do? Harness them and offer swamp rides? I'm not sure if we should do that. Do you get fresh water mermaids? I don't think mermaids is the answer to your transportation system. Oh, you know who we should visit? We should visit uh, Yoke. He said he was going to be working on uh, getting us some more info. Let's see if he's been doing that. It looks like he's doing it. Feeling a little tense. I cannot help with that. But perhaps I can provide a little intrigue to distract. You have arrived back just in time. I finished translating the notes I found. Yes. Though while the decoding was easy enough, turns out some of the details are a little strange. What'd you find, man? Being able to read it in plain language doesn't necessarily mean we can understand the meaning. Nor am I totally clear as to why she felt it necessary to write in code. Manny was, as a principal... Very transparent in how she communicated. But perhaps the date might suggest... What? Oh, is that the day that she died? Well, it appears to be around the time that the expedition of scientists arrived on our shores. Okay. That one that included your grandparents. While she, along with everyone else, was initially very welcoming of their presence... It soon became clear that overall their interest in our land and knowledge was 
How do I describe this? We were not subjects who could welcome them to share our knowledge and resources, but rather objects to be studied. Oh. Well, that's mean, not, I believe, intentionally. That perhaps is even worse. Anyway, Manny references seven of what I believe she refers to as moods, and something about how they are crucial to the balance of the local ecosystem. She also reports that the scientists showed great interest in the papu tree, and that she was concerned that they would interfere with... It is very dangerous, you know? There are terrible creatures guarding it. Garden the tree? Are you good, man? He looks down. I just... I'm not sure if I should. Though if Nono is sharing his practice with you, perhaps it is better to inform you sooner than later. You should go and speak to Jalei. It is much more their domain. I believe they are in a cave lab usually. Yeah, I know where he at. Okay. But he's sleeping right now. So, well, I mean, we'll check it out right now and then we'll see if he's awake or we can get him awake. Oh, he's awake. Hey, man, I need some help. I will endeavor to be of aid, service or help. Ask about the poem. Y'all get strange reaction. Uh, does he even know Yoke like that? Whatever, we'll go this route. Yoke translated this thing that Manny wrote, something about why the scientists came here, but then he got all upset and sent me here. You are agitated. I understand. But as Yoke suggests, I am best able to explain. For I am product of the Fung. Oh! He comes from... The fungi that Birdman was singing about? I am an organism like you, but I am not a humanoid mutation like some of the others here. My origins are not the result of sexual or reproduction. I am a mitotic division of the result of the fungus's meiosis. So you're related to the tree. Typically, sporic material produced by such an organism requires very particular conditions to allow the met met metodic division that produces a multicellular gam gam gametophyte, which produces gametes, which form a zygote, which develops into meat. So basically, you a baby. But Dr. Bramson was kind enough to cultivate me. Who is that? I don't think we've heard that name before. Dr. Bramson cultivated me from spores that were originated by the fung. Though it is possible for the spores to self-germinate, the order of the fung who now guard it, oh, are self-germinating. Okay, so there is like a separate, separate race that we haven't encountered yet or come across yet. We might even surmise that the sporic effusions was an evolutionary step towards a new form of defensive capability. Perhaps even surpassing hippomane? Mancinella for flora with a, rep a reputation for danger. These are big words, man. I can't speak. <gasps> Though they are called upon very often because the tunnel that leads to the fung is inhabited by hundreds of venomous centipedes. Oh, that's the thing that we saw in the... Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Driven by the huge centipede. I remember that. The centipedes are one of the obstacles. The order of the fung are another. The great fung exists in a symbiotic relationship with the papu tree. This symbiosis is the heart of our ecosystem. I suspect that when the scientists broached these shores, they thought there was some secret they might capitalize upon. That is the kind of interest it must protect itself from. But it is not actually difficult to reach. Simply open that portal behind you and traverse the pipe. It leads to an abandoned shopping temple. There you will find a centipedally troubled tunnel, which leads you to the Cave of the Great Fung. Although I'm fairly sure you will perish <laughs> if you enter unprotected, the Great Fung is the reason all the scientists but your grandparents perished. One of them was someone with whom Yoke had produced a child. <gasps> Two decades later, that child became Nono's apprentice. 
But he was frustrated with the slow progress Nono and he made in training. His mind was damaged attempting to access the power of the Great Fung. He became unstable, attacked the offspring he had produced with Mew before disappearing. Oh. This, they're all connected. So Yoke's child made babies with Mew. But Mew was like real sad about it. Maybe. Okay, because I remember them talking about a flood, right? Is that just something that they call it when the homeboy went all crazy and started attacking everything? A partner, a son, his grandchildren. The Fung has taken much from Yoke. Okay, so that's why he was all quiet about it and like, uh, what what is it? I there's a word for it. How's it going? Well, <laughs> if only you knew. Hey, I don't know if Spike and Mew will have made up in time, but Fridays we usually play some music in the bar. You should come late evening. I think. Does an attired sailor deserve the attention of his beloved on his return? About that. I got a master plan. Thought of it when I was away. Figure she's nesting, right? Wants to settle home, see? Must be fretting I'm too much of a free spirit to settle with her. So, I got this ink from a pal of mine. And I designed a tattoo. An anchor. Classic. With her name right in the middle. Oh, man, you gonna regret that one. Hell. Uh, hey. Tunk said you got him that root or whatever. How was lunch? Disaster. He's not ready. I'm gonna try again this evening. We gotta be talking before we play. Oh, it's band night, by the way. Yeah. Tung told me. Nice of you to join me. I slept such a long time. I think adventuring took a greater toll than I thought. Try and apologize and leave room for Grandpa to apologize. I mean, he's old. You know, he's stubborn. He's probably not going to apologize until we apologize. So we'll just be the bigger of the two and take the first step. Oh, my dear girl, I am perhaps being too guarded with you. See? Perfect. But you must understand, I've made mistakes before sharing pieces of knowledge that have led to unforeseen outcomes. I do not guard knowledge jealously, but with care. Forgive them. Because now we have some insight as to what the whole like gardening means and what the tree signifies and all that. A lot more deeper stuff than is going on. On the boat trip, there was a moment. Tongue was humming this tune, and it was like the hairs on the back of my neck stood up. I didn't just know it was a garden song, but I also knew what kind. It was about the kind of feeling you get. Mom calls it itchy feet. Never heard of that. I knew that's what I had to grow today. Wanderlust is the name of the mood. That's what Manny and I call them moods. The symbols in the encyclopedia. Ask about the moods. See if he could. Oh, actually, but why? Because if we just ask straight up, he's probably just going to disregard it. If we kind of make it broad, he might give us like a riddle at least. I wish for a new design to be a return to the balance that was lost as I became ill. Papu is dying. I cannot under or I cannot determine why. I've been too weak for too long. But now I am recovered. I wish for the two of us to venture into the spirit world. I am to take a journey together to find some answers. I you you know, Grandpa. Uh, I don't really think I should go there. You can go there if you like. If I can help you to find a connection with that world, then perhaps your strength will help us discover what must be done. I can see you are eager. Not really. I believe I will be strong enough tomorrow. Jeez, okay. We need a few bits and pieces for the ritual. 
we can review in the morning. Until then, please venture forth and enjoy yourself. I do believe it is band night. Sure is, Grandpa. But there's we're not even near done with the gardens. We still need two more. Oh, never mind. There's three. All right. Let's hear some jams. Oh, I think they're making up. Should have just spoken to you. I'm bad at speaking. I just... It was the first time in a while it didn't feel like I was drowning. But I was still thinking about me, not about you. I'm going to do better, okay? You're everything I've got left. You have me, baby. I know you meant well, kidden. And perhaps I'd be sitting on those feelings too long. We need a fresh start, okay? If you're on dry land for the first time in a while, let's spend some time together. Talk. Work out how to be grown-ups together. I like that. Would you like me to apologize to Claire as well? No. Save that. I think me and her need to talk ourselves. Love you, kid. Can we play some smashy guitar now? <gasps> I reckon. Though, you know there's only one tune in people's heads, right? Don't push it. Too soon? Gosh darn, I can't hold my mopey face still for you. Yeah, go on then. Let's play some music for the folks. <gasps> Are they in her shop? Oh yeah, because he was going to get the tattoo. Once we're tattooing. I don't know why you need a tattoo right this second. Aha, that's the special bit. You haven't even told what I'm drawing. My love. Okay, but the design? That's the design. I want an anchor. Embla emblazoned with the name Aileen. So we both know what's holding me down. Yikes. Holding you down. Like a port in a storm. Go on. Robbie, I don't. You know how to write your name, Starfish. I don't want to be with you anymore. Ouch. I thought you would shout or... Please. I love you. That's not enough, though. It doesn't just matter what you feel. It's what I feel, too. And I don't... I don't... Robbie, you're shaking. We have a child. Ooh, is she going to do it? The child needs a father. We'll have a village. I will not leave my child. Did you ever... Did you ever count back from when we found out? You know math is in a strong suit of mine. Oh, no. He, he doesn't realize. It's just that we were arguing, and you went on that long trip. I don't understand. So, you see, you don't need to stay with me out of some kind of obligation because because the baby isn't yours. Yikes. It's tongues. Oh! Just like that, man. She, I mean, there's really no other way to do something like that. You just gotta rip that shit off like a band-aid. Oh no, he's crying at the bar. <gasps> okay, folks, we're just about ready to begin up here. Thanks for tuning out, or turning out. Same shit, different toilet. Anyways, all of you. Just like any other gig, okay? Come on, let's play. All right, we're picking up now. Get it, baby. And she got some vocals. We have run out of rum. Why is the rum gone? Brings up old memories, doesn't it? Say what? When you're as old as we are, everything brings up a memory. Still, it's hard to watch the younger ones struggle. I don't wish to watch anyone struggle. Cheer up, my loves. At least we've got Nono up and amongst us again. Gonna go to the temple tomorrow. 
offer a bit of thanks, I reckon. Well, indeed. Offer some thanks for me. I think I have to talk to everybody. Sorry, buddy. Yeah, I gotta talk to you, man. You again. Got sea crumbs in my hair. Angel's hair. Angel's hair. Kinda sweet weed. Seaweed. Rob, maybe you should call it a night. You can't walk. Maybe, um, tongue could help you. Can't do it. Can't just stand here. A man's got to, to have some honor. Everyone's going to think I'm abando abandoning him. I have to tell them. Oh. The baby isn't mine. Oh, God. This was not the time. Oh, heavens. I'm with you, Grandpa. That baby? I didn't make it. Okay. <laughs> you don't have to put it like that. I'm not leaving. Leaving it. Because it's not mine. He's drunk, people. Everybody, just continue playing. It's tongues. Oh, no. Oh, no. I really shouldn't be listening into the conversations, but, uh... Rob, honey... Bubble juice will help. No, it won't, man. It gave me diarrhea. The baby, who can it? Dumb dumb doesn't even know how babies are made. Calm down, everybody. Treachery and stupidity. Now just hold on a minute. Stop right now. This whole bar is in shambles. I know tempers are high, but no fight and talk, okay? I'm sorry. I was gonna tell you, the baby. Where's your proof, hmm? For all we know, you could have been carrying on with all kinds of... Dennis, you don't want to finish that sentence. Yeah, you don't, man. Don't be disrespecting her, I... Tongue, you know me. We've got to work this out. We all live together. We're in each other's business every day. Stuff happens. The measure of us is how we deal with it when it does. Spike's right. Rob, tongue, please. Let's talk. Well, at least they're treating it like adults. Uh, can I call my mom? Nope. Okay, I'll tell her the tea next time. Oh, God. I'm so sorry. I had to get out. I know I should support tongue or whatever. But I am so bad with feelings. It's all right, man. He's... Got some other stuff to worry about. I don't think, uh... I don't think he'll mind that you're not there. How could he not even tell me? I know I'm a bit wrapped up in stuff, but... All that love talk. I thought it was just his soaps. Me too. <gasps> Turns out he's madly in love with Eileen. It's a bit off, right? I mean, he's all moon-faced and romantic. But she has someone. Why does she need to? Well, he listened to her. <laughs> Rob didn't give a shit. Can't tell if he is or if he's just too inarticulate to say anything. Well, that's, that's a bit much. That was mean. Yeah, it was a little, little, little too much. God, a kid though. I will guard that baby with my life. I think the whole village will. You know, I don't I don't really think they have like any kind of judgment towards him just cuz he is a little off and they they all like Rob but they like also understood the situation. Terrible thing for her to do. She probably should have just called it off and been like, "You know what? It's just not going to work for us and all that." But I think just because they really like uh both Aileen and Tongue, they're they're gonna let it slide. The whole village is gonna look after that baby like they own. I'll marry you. Oh my god, this guy. You're a good, kind man. But that's not what I want. I don't want to be with anyone right now. You stink of rum. Stank. What are you supposed to feed a heartbreak? Probably just time. Bubble, no, not bubble juice. Aileen, you don't want to be with anyone. Indecisive, too. 
which is fully entitled to want. But what about the baby? I built a crib out of driftwood. Bet you didn't even use child safe varnish. Dennis, go home. Go to your wife. I want us to raise it all together. The baby? Grob too. Wow. I want you in his life, Grobby. And Tongue and Spike here. You can teach it to hunt. Mari will cook and love it, whether or not it's her great-grandchild. Claire will teach it math, gel A, chemistry. Yoke can help it learn to read. And Bulpit can play with it whenever I'm busy. Baby will be an arcade master. Even Dennis. Though don't you dare try and cast me as some kind of fallen woman. There are three of us in this. Three hearts that made choices and leaps and mistakes. Four. Look, man. Technicality. I don't know what I'm doing. I can't. No one does, son. I remember your dad telling me. No one has a clue how to do it until they're... They're doing it. Think of it this way. If you can stick around past its eighth birthday, you'll be doing better than him. I'll be there. But I won't be doing all the messy bits. Everyone will pitch in. Everyone will raise it. I want to be a papa. Okay. I'm in. All right, well, that settles it. Time for bed. Oh, no. Oh, Grandpa. Are you okay? What the feck? <laughs> okay, Birdman. You are awake. You are awake. Open, your Open your eyes. Open your eyes. Well, Grandpa's fine. What the hell was that? You're okay. Of course I am, girl. What makes you think I wouldn't be? You were glitching in the Matrix last night. This is natural that you would be apprehensive. What the hell do you mean? No! I, well, I mean, I don't want to go into the spirit world, but that's not what happened. That's not what this is. Your brain is processing some of the more lurid events of the past few days. Combining it with your anxiety about my health and quite understandable apprehension about your first journey into the spirit world. Oh, so he's been there before. This is something you could come back from. Oh, okay. Felt, or it felt like more than just a bad dream. It felt like a warning. Like I say, completely understandable. But I am well, my girl. And while a first visit to the spirit world is daunting, it is also a beautiful, simple thing. Distraction. That's what you need. And I have just the thing. We need two things for the ritual this evening. First, an entheogen. What the hell is that? It's a substance that, a little like chamomile tea, will affect our mood. Relax our conscious mind and allow us to let go of the physical world. So he's making me take drugs. You have to grow it somewhere dark and damp. There was a plot of earth just right for cultivating it in Jelly's cave. I think it's time for you to make friends with the dots. Don't look at me like that. Honestly, is there no room for mystery in the lives of the young these days? Just you find your way up into the treetop. See if you can't find a gesture of friendship you can make. Whatever you say, Grandpa. But we'll do that in the next episode. Because a lot of shit went down, and we need some time to process this. Hopefully y'all enjoyed this episode, though. If you did, go ahead and like the video, sub, click the bell icon, follow me on Twitter, let me see in the comments, all that good stuff. Appreciate y'all. Much love, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace. Oh, hold on. I can hear you, you know, but you won't distract me. I'm going to use an ancient mantra to calm my soul. Oh, okay, so this is where we get that. It is supposed to soothe the mind. Don't let me keep you from whatever noisy business you're up to. Perhaps you can calm the dots down. 
This euphoria mantra is an effect of on dot ruckus. All right. Oh, passed to me by the dot shaman who learned it from Manny. Oh, okay. Cool. All right. Now we can end the episode. Peace. Peace.